This is the UE Systems Ultra Probe 3000 available for rent from Tech Rentals. It has a very useful feature to help you fix your compressed air system and identify the leaks and the magnitude of the leaks. This is an example of a compressed air system. It's, uh, the pressure is around 4 bar and uh, we've got uh, a hole, there's a leak right here. Right, we've got an example of an air leak. I now hold the system here on about 30 centimetres away. I pull the trigger and we wait a couple of seconds. And it tells us, having adjusted the sensitivity slightly, because we're showing slight arrow to the left, um, it tells us that the level is 73 dB. And I record by pushing the, uh, the button on the top here. We've now uh, collected the information, we've walked around the plant and uh, we've documented and collected uh, 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 the dB information and rec uh, stored it in this, this instrument every time by pushing the sensitivity, logged where we've recorded it, which uh, storage point, etc. Now I've plugged the instrument itself, I've loaded the uh, Ultra 10 DMS software, I plug the instrument itself into my USB port on it and now I hold the sensitivity button in and push the trigger and wait and you can hear it's now connected. Now I can take my fingers off because it says the word menu on the front. Now I click on communications, we've got to configure the probes initially. New, next, let's do an automatic selection. It's UP3000 probe we're using. Yes, there's our UP3000, that's it. Right, okay. Now, I want to download the data. Now, I have to have a plant to download it to, so in this case I'll have to create a new plant, and I'm going to call it TR Workshop. And I'm going to, the type of application is the leak application, and the particular group will be the compressor line. Compressor line, okay. Next, create that. Now, uh, if I select uh, workshop, I can't access this retrieve group probe information. What I've got to do is click on the little button and go to the one that's highlighted, which is the compressor line. Now I can click on communication. Now, if I retrieve the group information from the probe. Now, if the probe itself is turned off, which it does after one minute, this of course won't work. You'd have to turn it back on by holding the um, sensitivity key in, etc. Now, I've downloaded everything. The group name is correct, etc., etc. Okay, there we go. We've logged everything. We've uh, downloaded the logged information. Now, the only trick is, is that, okay, the pressure was actually four bar that I took uh, that at, and I measured it at 30 centimetres. Now, you may make a note here, C1 or something. Now, I'll just go through the next point. Right, that was at 20, 30 centimetres, and it was a four, at four bar also. Um, this is C2. Ah, there's the, that sound was the probe itself turning off. It's 30 centimetres. And four bar, and this is uh, C3. You know, any it could be anything, not a note, it could be, you know, lots of different things. Four bar, 30 centimetres away, um, and um, point P, P1 or whatever. doesn't matter. Now, the next point, uh, it's a zero dB measurement. It was uh, just something I did there, so I'll delete that. We don't need it, and I might right-click and delete this one as well. Yep, and delete this one. Now, the other thing I could add, of course, is other details I could add to these measurements. For example, the inspector, that's me, um, uppercase, GM, uh, GM, etc. So we've added that information, need be added here. Right, now, what I want to do is generate a report, and in the report it covers how much is being lost by these leaks with this magnitude. Now I select the compressor line, now I click on reports, and I click on compressed air report. Now I generate the selected report. Uh, we'll call it um, test one. Okay. Now that report is being generated. And we'll have a look at it when it's run. That's it. It's been created. 
Uh, right, we open the file we've created. Um, now, the current software doesn't include Australia on the list and hopefully will be included in future versions. If you wish to have the version that includes Australia, simply um, contact us and we'll send you the appropriate template with the instructions in installing it, on installing it. Now, here's the results. This is how much money is being wasted per annum on these leaks and this is the the value of each leak it gives you a a nice measure as to what you're going to save if you fix things and it's a very useful thing uh, get back to management there we go over there is another figure now if it's this is set at 15 cents per cost of 15 cent uh, 10 cents per kilowatt hour in this case I can up that amount of course if you happen to be paying 15 cents it's adjusted the readings accordingly thank you very much